Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. In this sketch, we'll review four commonly tested childhood exanthems, which is just a fancy word for a diffuse body rash. Specifically, we're talking about measles, rubella, parvovirus B19 infection, and roseola infantum. If that list doesn't seem exhaustive enough for you, don't worry, we've got four more for you. Pityriasis rosea, molluscum contagiosum, hand, foot, and mouth disease, and mumps, in part two of this series. Check them out at a library near you. Let's begin by briefly introducing these first four conditions, which will be depicted on four different book covers from the young adult horror novel series, Exanthems, by R. L. Skin. First up, measles, caused by measles virus infection, previously known as rubiola. It's highly contagious and characterized by fever, rash, and the three C's, cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis you'll see all things measles depicted by this poster of the first book in the Exanthems series, The Weasel Ghost. This one's a classic. Next up, we've got rubella, caused by the rubella virus, and once upon a time, called German measles. When acquired postnatally, rubella is a relatively benign disease and is vaccine-preventable. The presentation, workup, and treatment of rubella will take place in and around the poster for the next book in the Exanthems series. Be careful what you rash for. Spoiler alert, don't wish for rubies. Ever. The third condition we will discuss in this sketch is parvovirus B19 infections, and goes by erythema infectiosum, fifth disease, or simply parvo. All things Parvo will take place in and around our poster for the Exanthems book titled Monster B-19. Parvo comes from the Latin parvus for small, so we're dealing with tiny toy monsters here. Parvovirus B-19 is unique in that it infects erythrocyte progenitor cells, which can cause a few unique complications. More on that later. The last condition we will cover in this sketch is Roseola infantum, caused by human herpes virus 6, and also known as Exanthem subitum, or sixth disease. The presentation, workup, and treatment of Roseola will be covered in and around the poster for the Exanthem's book titled Revenge of the Rose Garden Gnomes. And don't miss the statue of Hermes for herpes virus. With that bit of intro out of the way, let's start with the haunted tale of the ghost weasel. Due to successful vaccination efforts, measles was declared eradicated in the United States in the year 2000, but due to a decrease in vaccine uptake, significant outbreaks have taken place around the U.S. Those most at risk include anyone that has not been vaccinated and is depicted in the poster by a broken banister that looks like a broken syringe. This includes infants too young to be vaccinated, those unable to be vaccinated for medical reasons, those that have not received the second dose of the vaccine, and those who have refused the vaccine. The classic presentation of measles is an erythematous maculopapular rash that starts at the head before spreading inferiorly to the rest of the body. This is represented by the red candle, dripping maculopapular dots of wax onto a gargoyle from head to toe. Measles is highly contagious and is spread through respiratory secretions that may remain airborne for up to two hours, represented by the airborne moths drifting away from the ghost weasel. As a result of this, susceptible individuals can become infected from merely entering a room that had an infected patient in it up to two hours earlier. Making it even worse, infected individuals are contagious from around five days before the emergence of the rash and remain so until about four days after it appears, making it almost impossible to limit its spread. There are four clinical stages that describe measles progression. The first of these is the incubation period, which lasts one to three weeks and is depicted by the number three in ink. Get it? incubation in the upper right-hand corner, where the poster is dog-eared, like you're seeing a page number. The second stage is known as the prodrome, and is characterized by fever, depicted by the candle flame behind the ghost weasel's head, and the three C's, cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis. You'll see that our ghost weasel has three C-shaped buttons on his robe, and that he's coughing, has a drip of snot coming from his nose, and has glowing red eyes. <laughs> you know, he's not snarling, he's sneezing. 
Ain't no real threat there.